hello lovely people and welcome back to our channel thank you so much for stopping by and checking out this video and if today is your first time on this channel you are welcome we are so happy to have you here and my name is joy on this channel we'll be bringing to you latest news and gist and if you'd like to see more videos from this channel do go ahead and click on that button down below that is subscribing and turn on that bell notification so you'll be notified Anytime we upload videos, you will be the first to hear bagam and you come and enjoy it. Oh my god. So in this particular video, I am going to be watching with you. So with that being said, let's get into the video. 34,000 policemen have been deployed to Anambra. To do what? To do what? Even though you take 10,000 policemen to Anambra states and you can pay them where they will be able to do what those 34,000 people cannot do. But if they are there, you cannot give them the allowances and they will be jam packed. And any corruption statement that will come out there, there will be a partaker on it. If you train anybody with a gun, you train anybody like a police, his salary should not be less than 150,000 naira. Because if you train him, Hello? you you train him, you give him gun, you give him, uh, and you are paying him twenty thousand naira. Indirectly, you are recruiting, or you are uh, you are recruiting robbers. I remember uh, Desmond Tutu, Bishop Desmond Tutu of South Africa. In one of his comments in his interview, he said that African leaders. We prefer to buy guns. We prefer to buy ammunition, spend billions of dollars to buy ammunition and kill her people. But we refuse to spend half of that money to provide water. That is exactly what is happening in Nigeria today. How many police the federal government has sent to San Francisco State? In Niger State, how many police have been sending to that place? In Sokoto, how many police have been sending to that place? Those only because of election, they have sent 35,000, close to 35,000 police go to Anambra. Because of what? It's very bad. So that the government, they don't have masses for their might. Did I hear you say 34,000? Policemen, personnel to an umbrella. What for? Isn't it too much? Are you saying that? Uh, okay, let's assume that uh, one person per police or whatever. That's too much. Governor of Mohammed Buhari, he's not interested. He's not going to apologize to Nigerians. He's not willing to even speak with a civic tone. Look at his, even his uh, uh, October effects broadcast. Some of his comments do not have credibilities. I keep, I, I'm here to say it. It does not have credibility. The, in a system where the president will come and tell you he has done creditably well. As I time was taking power, a bag of rice sells for less than 7,000 in Nigeria. Today, a bag of rice sells for over 27,000. As I time was taking power, a kg of gas, one kg of gas, cooking gas, sells for less than 150 naira today a kg of cooking gas sells for 700 naira before when it was before it took power a such pure water such water sells for 55 naira today such water sells for 20 naira in nigeria to the extent that some household you cannot afford some household cannot afford such pure water it's of, it's of a great concern to those who feel that leadership should be for those who have the passion, leadership should be for those who have the capacity. Leadership in Nigeria should go beyond ethnic, should go beyond ethnic, should go beyond religion, should go beyond party affiliation. If governors of this country gets that power at the state level, I think the, the democracy will die. Why? Because as it is as it is now that the police is under the federal government. Look at what is happening. Anybody that emerges as a governor in his state, he becomes the overall boss. Even though we know, like uh, I know one state that the opposition in that state 
has connection at the center that if the if federal if IG let me say if IG change the commissioner of police the governor of the state will pocket the commissioner and they keep on changing the commissioner because the center has interest on that opposition uh, aspirant. So when you give the governor that power, I don't think, I don't think our democracy will grow. And looking at the situation in some states that there are a lot of tribalism, religious issues, the governors will also use that those police in their own interest, in their own favor. So to me, there's no need of any state police. Why? Because when you look at the financial implication, even the minimum wage of 30,000 Naira, about how many percent of the state cannot even afford to pay? Not that they don't want to pay, they don't have the capacity to pay. This is my opinion. This is my opinion. Not that, not that they don't want to pay. It's because they don't have. Simply look at what happened recently with uh, Rivers Governor about this uh, VAT issue. That if states are allowed to collect the VAT, a lot more than 90% of the state will remain without nothing. So if you give them that responsibility to pay, to hire and pay the salary of police, I don't think. Uh, <laughs> Look at the civil servant now. 30,000 Naira they are not paying. So you add another burden for them to pay the police. And it is my opinion that if you train anybody with a gun, you train anybody like a police, his salary should not be less than 150,000 Naira. Because if you train him, you, you train him you give him gone you give him uh, and you are paying him 20000 naira indirectly you are recruiting or you are uh, you are recruiting robbers governors from the south south states southwest states southeast states these governors are insisting on state police the society we have found ourselves today the level of insecurity in Nigerian society, most especially in the south, south states, southeast states, has come to the level that the governors are of great concern. They are, they are beginning to, be, to feel guilty facing their people. Feel guilty in the sense that they cannot confidently talk to their people. To their people, their people believe you are our governor, you have to give us maximum protection. But the Constitution of Federal Republic of Nigeria has not given them such powers. And the federal authority, federal government that has such powers has to them, they feel it's not their responsibility. And they are neglecting states. They are neglecting Nigerians. As such, the governors are insisting, and I'm of the opinion, that such demands to be pressed to the extent that if this federal authority refuses to embody such requests Nigerians Nigerians should be informed to this extent to be aware of what is happening as such you cannot be empowering people constitutionally and the, the constitution will not empower the people the constitution will not empower the, gov the governors by just a main theory in practical the governors has no powers over the the, the architectural uh, security architecture of the country it's wrong the pros of having a state police far 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 outweigh the cons the advantages of having a state police is far 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 outweigh whatever disadvantages that comes to do it because one first and foremost governance is about what securing of what lives and property so if you have to just oppose it against the national police, they are not enough based on their number and size, based on the population of Nigeria. They have not given us the required uh, uh, securing of the lives and the property. So now, com coming to talk about, when I talk about structure, if there is synergy between the federal and the state, it is very, very possible 
for the state to have their own police. Because why? The people within that environment, they know themselves. And the police are coming from that area. So it is very easier to deal with the security of the that is peculiar to that area. Now, when it comes to the remuneration, whatever location that is coming from the federal, the federal government should ensure that, okay, part of this money partly is going to the state in respect of this. Because one of the foremost responsibilities of governance is what? Securing of life and property. And in the, in the crime that we are in and in the present situation, we've had security challenges for how many years now? For how many years now? The federal government has not been able to solve it. So why don't the federal government partner? Partnership. They, because now, coming to the area of structure, uh, in the state where you have a, a proper structure of a federal and the state, you see that there is synergy between the, like in the, in the like I want to use for instance, United States of America. You have state police, you have federal police. They all know their roles and responsibilities. There is no clash. When there is an issue that the federal police need to take over, the state police hand over to them. When there is an internal issue that the state police need to take charge, they take charge. Okay, guys, so that will be all from us today. And we do hope to see you in our next video. And if you have anything to say about this particular video, go ahead and drop it at the comment section, okay? And we'll get back to you. For now, it's goodbye and stay blessed. Bye. Joy.